Hello, minions! Uh, today I would like to talk to you uh, about an opportunity that uh, kind of just fell into my lap. And um, as some of you may have seen through my Twitter, or uh, if you see on the, you know, kind of the asinine parts of my YouTube page, like the, the comments um, on the actual channel page itself that are basically hidden and mostly useless now, um, or if you keep track of my favorite videos from my channel then uh, you may notice that I recently had a what my my latest tips and tricks video the one about the close quarters DLC um, I recently had that uploaded to a channel called gamer spawn and that is uh, is not something that I sought out um, I I didn't even really know about this channel and by really I mean at all Had, hadn't heard about it and uh, one day I just got this message in my inbox that um, was you know from this guy and he says you know I'm the content manager for Gamerspawn and you know we're interested in in some of the videos that you've created and, and would like to know if um, we can post them on our channel uh, and at first I was thinking you know I mean because I get messages like this every now and then but they're typically from like smaller channels um, you know guys just starting out like their channels like a week or two old and they're like hey man do you want to join our our network of our new network we've created it shows off all the the best you know all the best first person shooter players on the internet all the best call of duty and battlefield players out there you know we want you to join our team and and you go look and their channels you know got you know, 200 subscribers, and they've been in existence for 15 days or something like that. And the message that you received, right, was sent to 400 people. <laughs> you know, it's you can tell you just kind of got spammed off of a video that it, that they found or something like that. Um, well, this, uh, you know, what I do, what I normally do, and I check out, you know, their channel and kind of what this is about. Um, and going back real quick, not to hate on people who have a small number of subscribers. I'm not. You know, I don't have a lot of subscribers, and I'm not an elitist when it comes to that. Content is content. Uh, subscribers doesn't matter, but when you're um, just starting out and you're trying to sell yourself off as, you know, the you know the next big place for gaming on YouTube, and, uh, and you know, you've been around for a week, it, it doesn't carry a lot of weight. Well, um, I checked on Gamerspawn, I was like, oh, I wonder, you know, what this channel is about. And they, you know, they're an established channel, and they haven't done a lot of actual um, gameplay and commentary, meaning they haven't posted much of that from people. Um, and they're mostly, um, they've done, they, they post a lot of gameplay trailers, kind of like a game uh, a game news site, even. So when, when these major companies put up uh, trailers for new games, they post those up. Um, and they also have done some really awesome um, kind of history videos. I mean, they've got a... They've got a better name for it. I, I, uh, I'm going to put a link to, to two of my favorite ones, or my, my two favorite ones, um, in the description of this video. And one is their history of the Battlefield franchise, and the other one is their history of the Call of Duty franchise. And, and I've described both of those in some detail in the past, just kind of in passing during one of my gameplay commentaries. But they have a fully put together, you know, uh, completely produced and edited... Um, history series for those games like it like one video that's like you know 30 minutes long for each series it just covers them from their inception to where they are now um the battlefield one was done right before the release of battlefield 3 um so it gives you you know they've it's been around at least you know for that long and they of course they've been around longer than that but um but they're really awesome to watch and they're you know like i said not just professionally produced like they're edited together really nicely and, and they've got good production quality but they've also got an awesome narrator he's like the guy that they have do their voiceovers has just one of those awesome voices that's like yeah that's what you would kind of expect to be on a professional you know voiceover video um but that kind of got me interested i was looking through and they they've had they'd had a, a couple of kind of almost what i'd call like you know smaller user submitted videos where where they've got some videos from that people have created um like one was like a, a music video cut to battlefield 3 that was um you know trust me i'm an engineer which is pretty funny um but i'm not trying to to advertise the content the point is is it, it kind of struck me that um for being in such an, an established channel as they were with you know 120,000 plus subscribers um they seem to be trying to expand their content base um to include you know not, not. It doesn't look like they're really going down the path of gameplay commentary, right? But they want to start including uh, tips and tricks and 
good, um, fun, user-generated content, like I said, like like those, like, and you guys have seen them probably from a lot of different channels, right? Someone makes a video game song from a Battlefield game, and they, you know, or they'll, they'll parody some popular song at the time, right? Um, but it seems like they're kind of going that direction, and, and as I started uh, messaging back and forth with uh, this GamerSpawn uh, content manager, um, you know, I was kind of getting an idea what they were going for, and, and kind of what uh, which of my videos he was kind of interested in, and he said specifically the ones he's been he was most interested in right now is um, my Battlefield Three Tips and Tricks series, and he messaged me. Um, I think it was on a it was on a Monday or a Tuesday, right? And and I and I I was gonna message him back the next day, um, or I messaged him back that night with a couple of simple questions, um, and he messaged me back the next day with the answers. Um, and it was, you know, it, it just, the vibe I got was, was a really good one, like a really kind of professional vibe. Like they're not, you know, rushing into things. Right. Um, but at the same time he said, you know, Hey, if you, you know, if you give me the go ahead, then we'll, you know, we'll get one of your videos up today, you know, and, and, and kind of get moving on it. Um, and I, and I thought that that's, you know, it sounded good cause it was really proactive. And what I was actually planning on doing before he said that was bringing a video to you guys first much like I did before and this I, it's not like I ever got contacted um, by a, a different channel but but before I've had videos I think I posted a couple in the past one two or three of them where I, I say hey you know what what's the direction we want to take for this channel um, as a community right I mean I, with growth comes the opportunity for the you know the random people on the internet who just love to hate right it, it's the opportunity for them to come into the channel and start filling up the comments with crap and um, so I was going to ask you guys if you felt it was worth the risk but the way they moved on it and the impression I got from talking to them um, really impressed me um, so I just went ahead and, and, and you know I was like I gave them the go ahead executive decision right um, but uh, but yeah they put it up and and there was um, it was a pretty good reaction. I mean, the 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 ratings, which is the kind of the best thing you can go by, because not a lot of people, especially people who enjoy video, don't always comment, right? It's always the people who like really dislike a video, or at least on on larger channels, right? I mean, on my channel, of course, it tends to be the other way around, which is why it's so great. Um, but you know, the the ratings, good to bad, on their channel were were more towards the positive side, um, and a lot of the people who complained or disliked um, and, and made themselves heard in the comments um, weren't necessarily just the random rabble. There was some of that, right? But there were some people who were like, you know, hey, I, I subscribe to this channel because I want the newest, you know, video game trailers, you know, the, the awesome commentary, uh, you know, voiceovers that they do on their game histories and stuff like that. Like, that's the content that channel traditionally did, and that's kind of what they were about, right? And then, there, of course, there were the people who were like, oh, Gamerspawn, now you've gone too far, you know, unsubbed. And, <laughs> and I was just like, you know, you're going to have to deal with that, and I've got thick skin, so it's not anything that concerns me. Um, but something happened that was that I didn't necessarily expect, and, and it's good because I don't want to say 100, you know, it's, it's a... It's not a small channel, you know, 120,000 subscribers, right? But, um, but comparatively to some of the other major, you know, what you would consider major gaming channels, um, you know, they're not quite as as grown, like as bloated. But and and that gives a good opportunity of getting more exposure to the channel while not exposing yourself to such a large quantity of people that there's uh, a lot of just the random people coming in and, and just spewing hate, right? That, that leak over into into the channel, and that's kind of the major concern I had is that people who love to hate would follow um, that video back to my channel, you know, subscribe to me, right? Just so that every time I post a video, they could come into it. And, say how stupid and terrible I am, right? Um, and granted, it's been one video, and it's been about a week, maybe a little over a week now, um, and that just hasn't been the case, where there have been, uh, you know, a couple of people, like, I've, you know, there's been some pos positive feedback on the channel, and there's been some correlation with, a, you know, a small number of people. I mean, we're talking on the order of four or five people, maybe, um, who followed back to my channel um, and commented on some of my videos and, and kind of made themselves known. They, you know, they subbed up and, um, get that flank on. Where'd he go? <laughs> Just got this gameplay going in the background. Um, and I'm hoping that, that that's the trend that continues where the people that decide that they want to follow my content back to my channel, you know, and see what else I have to offer other than, you know, like the tips and tricks videos, um, that those people, 
tend to be the ones who like my content, right? You, you hope that people wouldn't come and, <laughs> and, and get on my videos because they don't like them, right? So, so there's an aspect of that I didn't think. I figured, you know, growth means more people who can hate, but at the same time, with, with the setup the way it is now, uh, the growth should hopefully only come from people who enjoy the content or, and want to come back to the channel. And, um, and I talked about it before that, that, and it's still true today, this channel is not at all about, um, well, let's, let's put it this way. This channel, for me, is all about enjoying playing video games and, and posting up videos. And, and it, also videos that are informative. You know, my tips and tricks videos came out of the, you know, because they're a little more time for me to produce than just posting up a, a live commentary, which is what I typically do. Um, you know, so it takes me some time to edit that stuff together, but it, but it's fun for me to do, and I like sharing that information with you guys, especially, um, especially when it's something that you guys are asking for, like the the tips and tricks um, video for Close Quarters DLC was directly from. Uh, you guys' comments. I mean, I took that straight out of the comments and uh, and made a video for it. I mean, that's how it works. I mean, you guys drove that video. Um, and I don't know if that is the video, right, that, that got their attention or, or what, but it's not too far-fetched to think maybe it is. So, you know, ipso facto, how awesome you guys are is directly what, what leads to these kind of things for the channel. When I'm not seeking to grow the channel artificially... Uh, but let it grow naturally, and, and that, that involves things like people finding my content, right, and then, and then contacting me. Um, so I really enjoyed that, and, and, but that wasn't all, right? The, the tipping point for me, especially with the limitations on, on my time that you guys are aware of with, you know, my wife, two kids, full-time job, you know, YouTube is not my job. It's a hobby that I really enjoy doing, um, you know, so I don't have you know, eight, ten hours a day to play games, cut together videos, you know, all that stuff. If I want to put together like a uh, tips and tricks or, you know, even something really highly produced like a Wheezy's War College, um, you know, that takes a significant investment of my time. You know, we're talking multiple evenings spending, you know, two or three hours cutting the clips together, um, rendering an intro for it, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but when Gamerspawn contacted me, what they said is, you know, I mean, they obviously they have, the op they have the option so that you can upload the videos to them, right? But they said, hey, if you give us permission to post uh, your videos to the channel, then, uh, you know, if you don't want to, you don't have to even upload the videos to us. We'll rip them straight from your channel and post them that way. And uh, and I was like, that's perfect, right? You know, it's it, it, it's minimal interaction for me, right? It's it, I basically give them the okay. It's like, hey, if you guys see videos on my channel that you like, Take them and repost them. That's, you know, 100% fine with me. And, uh, you know, there's no contract or agreement here. You know, it's just, you know, hey, we like your content. Can we post some of your videos? And I said, yes. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting ad sharing or revenue or anything like that from their channel as I leap to my death. <laughs> um, you, know, I'm, you know, the idea is they seem to be trying to expand what they're doing on their channel, and I was excited to, to be you know, asked to be a part of that, right? I mean, as they're kind of blazing ahead to to expand what their channel is doing, uh, you know, I seem to be one of the first people that they've asked to to be that content that they want to to add to their channel. Um, that excited me. So, you know, and then of course there's always the opportunity for people that enjoy my content to come back to my channel and add to this community that that we've got that's just so awesome. Um, you know, and, and who knows, maybe some of those people someday may end up um, in one of the, the, you know, a live stream or an open lobby or um, end up on my friends list or, you know, you never know uh, what, what kind of stuff it could lead to, um, right? But um, so it's, again, I don't want you to jump to the conclusion that I'm, I'm jumping at this out of a desire for my channel to get huge and so I can quit my job and do YouTube full time or make the fat, fat YouTube cash. I mean, that is absolutely not in any way my goal. And that is why this opportunity was so perfect, and it just fits so well with the guidance and direction I want for my channel that uh, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it immediately, you know, sent pretty much, you know, without, uh, without bringing it to you guys first, which is something that I did struggle with. Um, but the, guy, the communications I had from them were so professional that I, I felt like leaving them hanging for a day or two while I put together a video and asked for feedback from you guys. Um, wasn't courteous enough for for the way that they they were treating me so uh and plus like i said i love what they were 
I love what I think that they're doing here. You know, I love, I love the direction they seem to be trying to go with this. So, uh, so there's that. They have, they as a channel are are working on um, their own version of a, a partnership program, right? Where, you know, it, it'll add in that whole idea of partnership. And I, I've told them as long as you know it, it doesn't affect my content. Like the, I think the first message basically that I sent back to them as I'm kind of skipping around here, um, was. You know, if I give you permission to upload videos to your channel, I want to make sure that I still maintain all rights to my content, and I don't want to start getting uh, copyright hits or monetization rejections on my channel because your channel's posting the content, you know, and it's a larger channel. So, of course, I don't know if you guys know this, people who haven't posted a lot of videos to YouTube uh, may not realize, but the way YouTube is set up right now, and especially with the way they deal with copyright, large channels get preference over smaller channels, right? So, you know, some of the your favorite YouTube commentators, your favorite guys you love to watch, like they've got, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, right? And they post gameplay content, and they monetize all of it, right? YouTube backs them up and uh, gives them money for that. Um, it's very, very, very hit or miss for me whether or not I'm allowed to monetize a Battlefield video. Right, because the idea of posting um, gameplay from a game that you didn't create creates some licensing issues with the with the you know the producers of the game, you know the, uh, the EAs or the Dices, right? Um, games like Minecraft uh, not released a a full license that says use gameplay footage of Minecraft however you want, monetize it. I give you full permission because he understands that from a business standpoint that brings attention to his game. But large, larger companies just don't do that. The EAs and the Dices out there, they just simply um, don't do that on a widespread scale, right? Um, so these larger channels via YouTube, and I don't know, maybe there's even some backdoor agreements with the studios themselves, right? They get rights to monetize everything, you know, because YouTube gets a percentage of their ad revenue. So, of course, they're letting these big channels post whatever they want, monetizing all of it. Well, for a smaller channel like mine, you know, they're not going to go to bat for me. So it's it's really hit or miss whether or not they let me monetize a video. About 90% of my Minecraft videos get approved immediately. But I, I'm lucky if 1 in 5 or even 1 in 10 of my Battlefield videos gets approved at all. Um, and even if they do get approved, typically they get approved three or four days after I post them. So all of the views that are going to basically go through my video have already gone. Um, which, which, again, would bother me more if I was doing this for money, but I'm just not. So, um, so that th there's there's that aspect of it where perhaps by doing a partnership program, I might get some more of that clout so that I'm allowed to do more on my channel. I'm less likely to get dinged by YouTube for copyright, um, things like that. And also, they've said, you know, if if we get a partnership through, you know. When you message me and it's like, if you're interested in the partnership program, you'll be able to do things like, you know, add cool headers to your page. I'm sure you guys have seen that channel pages that have um, actually links in the background to their Twitters and Facebooks and their accounts on like. So for me, it would be like you would have a link so that I could, you could get straight to my, you know, to Gamer Spawn from my channel, um, you know, or something like that. And they offered to do, make my tips and tricks series a, uh, a YouTube show, you know, if, if I was planning on doing more videos. And I told them, you know, I'm absolutely planning on doing more Battlefield 3 tips and tricks, you know, I did a mod I did one Modern Warfare 3 one before I completely gave up on that game. I've done several for Battlefield 3. I've got at least two or three more that I'm currently working on and, you know, however many more I decide are worth making in the future. Um, plus when Medal of Honor comes out, I'll most likely be doing some for that. Black Ops 2, I mean, I I I told him all this. I mean, my channel isn't all about you know, one kind of game and whoring it out to get, to get everything I can. Games that I enjoy, games that I feel like I can speak knowledgeably about. I'm going to share share tips with people who want to want to hear them, and, and they seemed all about that. So we'll see where that goes. We haven't um, had a yes or no or or any kind of um, solid details on that that whole partnership aspect of it because they're still developing. And like I said, for their channel, this as part of it, what it seems like them expanding the way that they're doing their channel. Um, most of their content, other than posting. Um, trailers from from these developers and these publishers has been in-house generated content stuff that they have edited and put together and narrated all by themselves so so they're still you know building up this whole concept of a partnership for their channel as well and uh that's another thing where it's a, you know at this early stage for where their channel is um you know i think that's exciting for me as well to 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 kind of be part of that and and i see it as an opportunity to help um one of these channels as it's starting to grow into the realm of you know, user-generated content to, 
you know, maybe I can have some influence on, on, on helping build that community around their channel. You know, maybe, <laughs> and maybe this is a little too naive and, and pie in the sky for me, but you know, if you can't dream big, right, you'll never achieve big. So, you know, maybe I'll be able to have some effect on one of these larger channels to where they can build more of a, a good solid community like I've got on my channel. Um, and you know, there's of the 1800, something like that subs I've got on my channel. Um, you know, on each video, I, I'll get between 100 and, you know, sometimes on a good day, 175, 200 views. And that's about, you know, par for the course on YouTube. You'll get about, oh, excuse me, a, about 10% or maybe a little less um, of views per your subscribers, right? Unless you, you know, post videos that everybody likes to share around. Um, but in general, your subscribership, about 10% of them roughly will regularly watch your video so that's about how you can correlate that and um, from that aspect even though my the community around my channel isn't that large that that's one of the things that makes it so great but also the people that stick around found me naturally I didn't go out and and force myself on other channels is that a some sort of a rape metaphor um, <laughs> I didn't you know I haven't been out there uh, whoring myself out just to try to get subs and views because I would rather have um, fewer subs than bad subs and I don't have bad subs which is great and I hope that doesn't change and so I'd, I'd like to get you guys feedback on on this whole situation um, I mean like like I said I've, ar I've already made this decision but that doesn't mean that your feedback is not important to me um, so what do you guys think and, and what kind of things, you know, if, if we are going to be able to get some input and some guidance into the way this, this is going to work on this channel, um, you know, what, what kind of things do you think are, are, you know, would be worth doing, you know, maybe more ideas, what, what kind of tips and tricks stuff do you guys want to see, um, you know, that you might think be useful to other people. So, um, I'm not going to ask you to go check out my video on Gamerspawn. I'm going to put a link to it. You can check it out if you want, but you've seen the video, it's on my channel and, um, just to put you at ease, um, there is no plan to change anything on this channel. I'm not going to be posting videos specifically for Gamerspawn and then linking them here. Everything that I'm going to post is going to go straight up on my channel immediately. And the way it works now is anything Gamerspawn wants to post on their channel, they can tear it, uh, you know, they can rip it off my channel um, and then post it and re-upload it. So that's the way it's going to work. Um, I hope you guys are as excited as I am and I want to hear your feedback. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace.